Welcome to uh, Kid Amnesia. It's the Radiohead game. I couldn't believe there was a Radiohead game announced. It was my, one of my favorite announcements from E3. And uh, here it is. Weird coincidence, without me remembering that this thing was dropping today, I bought the Kid Amnesia vinyl. And then I remembered later, and I looked it up, and it was, there it was. So I have to play this. I broke and I downloaded EGS. But when I'm done with this, so too shall I be done with that. I'm very excited for this. The year is 2021. Radiohead drops the game of the year. Well, whatever this thing is, the Radiohead Kid A and Amnesiac Showcase, I'm very excited. So please enjoy. Turn your lights down, turn your volume up, and if you haven't heard their music, especially this album, these two albums, then I think you might be in for a surprise. Well, surprise might be putting it lightly. Um, yeah, so, uh, here we go. Hmm. Okay, here we go. So already... Definitely, um... Get a pretty good Stanley Donwood. Like, that's the artist who Radiohead works with. But I, I'm, I'm already getting a vibe that works well for the album. And again, it's just a weird coincidence that I bought it today. It's... oh. Please note, this will be totally copyright claimed. This is YouTube only. Some places will make sense, some will never make sense. See you later. So they're doing remixes. Not the strict album versions. I listed Kid A as one of my favorite albums ever on my list there. And, uh... Maybe it will ascend higher. After this. It's those little fellas from the art. They're like alien fellas. Um, the game issued an epilepsy warning, but I will do the same. This is the best kind of walking simulator. High quality one. With good music. So again, if you've never heard Kid A before, highest recommendation. It's weird, it's depressing at times, but it is beautiful. There's some uh, stuttering that I don't like here, but I mean... Maybe it's just the game itself, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't expect this to be the exact album. It seems like it's taken a number of elements. and uh, combine them. Also, I'm having a hard time capturing this game in OBS. So that's another um, problem. I gotta say, this engine can look really great. We've come a long way. Video game lighting can be really 
aesthetically uh, pleasing. Love these little fellas. Okay, so you can actually choose. It's like Mario 64. You jump through a painting and you get a different level. Except this time you go down a different corridor and you get depressed. Oh, wow. This needs to be VR. So I like that lad. It's a good lad. I'm sorry to take you out of the experience, but I want to just double check. I have V-Sync on. Turn that off for a second and see if that... If it still stutters. I mean, V-Sync would be the way to get it to stop stuttering. It's the Half-Life Alex Matrix. I hear Morning Bell. Here's my Radiohead opinion. Every album should have a new version of Morning Bell. Idiotech. Just even hearing the fucking weird ambient noises they, they used on this album, out of context, you start to get used to certain sounds. You hear them a thousand times. You know when they're going to show up. You know how they go and what songs they turn into. And it just becomes routine. If you've heard an album, you know, a hundred times. But then when you hear them out of context, Well, it makes your brain tickle. I've been seeing QR codes all over the damn place. I'm going to do it. You can do it too if you want chat and video members. Actually, this won't be on Twitch at all because, you know, you get nuked for playing Radiohead, I would imagine. This is, um, just extended viewing. Um, it's a map. So it shows you where you are. It looks like um, a subway map almost. But it gives you an idea of where you are and where to go next if you want to. It disappeared completely.
this song has like a a lot of extra meaning for me.
that's going to be a hard one to top. At a certain point, I realized that I was floating. God, this needs a VR version. That song is very good. And it sounds great stripped down like that, with mostly just the orchestration and the guitar and Tom's voice. We're doing Pyramid Song already. All right, we're getting the heavy hitters early. Once again, I float. fear and nothing died. The anticipation. I thought they were gonna, you know, kiss or whatever <laughs> when the drums started. It's almost cliche to say this, but this band has definitely gotten me through some shit. Their music is very appreciated.
Also, their music is perfectly suited for a game like this. We almost attempted uh, a Red Vox game for Realign. But, you know, you need... You need, like, a team of people. <laughs> it's a hard project to get right and not... You know, skimp on it. I'm sure this took a lot of people a lot of time. But this stuff is great. Hang on. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's as loud as it can get. Squids. it should be noted this is from amnesiac pyramid song the previous one also amnesiac how to disappear completely was kid a so again these are two separate albums that came out a year apart but they are like sister albums so to speak i just think kid a is stronger well most people do <laughs> There's a name for this type of effect. Seeing it recreated like this, it's pretty amazing. And love video game graphics. Okay, granted, it said this is not a game, but that's not... That's not 100% true. This is built upon the backs of games. Isn't that right, friend? We're going to spinning plates. Uh, 
Now, is that a heart or an alien? This is not an introduction song to Radiohead. This this isn't who you... You don't show your friends this song to get them into this band. <laughs> oh. Or this one. Yeah, I had uh, I had some issues with Amnesiac, like trying to get into it. Aside from a couple songs that I loved immediately, and I still like sometimes I'm not in the mood. Moon full of stars and astro cars. Thank you very much. You clown. I wonder if they took, um, like stuff from Tom's journal. That might be his handwriting. You, clown. you know, I can't wait for the uh, rock musician crossover. Because they just revealed some, like, Warner Brothers thing, and they said there's full voice acting gonna have um, Shaggy and Batman and all that stuff they were throwing some some fucking barbs over at the uh, Nickelodeon game for not having voice acting anyway I can't wait for the one that has all your famous and favorite rock musicians customize their guitars, their instrument of choice, their outfits. Oh, that's cool. For some stuff, uh, I'm not planning a whoa. For some stuff, I'm not planning on sticking around the whole time. Like, Hunting Bear is not the song I go back to. It's just... It works on the album. Still a little stuttery, but not too bad. Just when you load into a new area. Oh shit, is that the famous Kid A mountain range? 
<laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Well, that's the Kid A album cover. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, that actually kind of... That kind of surprised me. That startled me. I was this thing the whole time. How would this part work in VR? It still easily could. I think I ascended too early. Did you ever accidentally ascend too early? Hey, if you want to play along, feel free to scan these QR codes. I have a Radiohead shirt with that bear face thing on it, amongst other weird abstractions from the Kid A era. And one of the things on it are just hundreds of little sperms. I didn't know they were sperms for years. I just thought they were like squiggly lines. I didn't pay enough attention. Nah, sperm. But, you know, knowing Radiohead and their whole vibe... It's not sperm, it's spermatozoa. I mean, somehow... Palpatine... I mean, somehow we, uh... Went through... Probably the right series of paths to get to the end. was definitely a little soon. We missed a good chunk of both albums. I want to hear Optimistic. so much this is this is just so it's like the culmination of years of walking simulators all that i've hoped for in those games something strange and maybe a little meaningful <laughs> speaking of and with good visuals and music oh man in limbo is so good which which one 
I start with in limbo? I don't know how much of this art was actually done by Tom York. Or like... If any of this stuff was from his notebook directly. hearing an isolated version of an instrument on an album, hearing all the little imperfections in the playing. No offense, Johnny. It's really just building the song one element at a time, isn't it? This is like really useful if you're interested in studying the band a little bit and like um, the piece by piece it's like the equivalent of um yeah I know it's like the equivalent of going through like the archives and having someone like mix all the, the stuff on the mixing board like one slider at a time I keep waiting for Tom's vocals to come in <laughs> Really, uh, 
I really like how they held off on the roads that long. Okay, I could linger in here, but I also have to think of, like, the audience watching this. Wanting to, uh, see some other stuff as well. Okay, it's not just because I'm reading Dune, but it's definitely because I'm reading Dune. This is like the, um, Guild Navigator melange tanks. The spice tanks. Listen, I know, I, I know. I get really into things when I like something and I read it and I spend time with it. But seriously, that's pretty much what I picture. like sardines. Where is that? It's gotta be this way. Yep. Okay, that was strange. Oh god, I have to resist the urge. was like timed to my movement perfectly that is no it's specific areas oh wow I guess this is in the song <laughs> oh there's even spots it, it indicates That was cool.
still trying to find optimistic. National Anthem would be a good choice as well. That be this way. Kid A is down that way. National Anthem, I assume, yeah, is this way. Um, let's go to Kid A first. I wonder how much the band actually had to do with this game. Did anyone throw an idea out, oversee anything, approve, deny? Oh, we were... Uh, were we here already? No, it's just a other big foil looking dude. Scummy tunnel. There are barn doors and there are revolving doors. Doors in the rudders of big ships. And there are revolving doors. There are doors that open themselves. Sliding doors. And there are secret doors. There. Okay. <laughs> that song. Oh, oh, okay. Back to the woods. Mr. Woods. Makes me wonder if there are any other secrets out here. There's the starting point. I like that it's all really... Just choose wherever you want to go. It's pretty circuitous. There's a flow to it. Relatively simple song, everything in its right place. It's just the um, arrangement and production choices that make it interesting. Well, that and the melody is really good, but like hearing it in a more simplified form, it's like, oh, yeah, it's a pretty simple song. But that's what a lot of Radiohead kind of varies between weirdly complex with strange like listen to videotape if you want weird time signatures to um deceptively simple to a mix of both just i think the the real skill among a lot of skills for radiohead is how well they combine their um the sum of their influences but also 
just try to do weird stuff with traditional instruments and traditional song structure. And uh, their secret weapon is Johnny Greenwood. Especially his arrangements. But we all know that their only good song is Creep. Yeah, now I'm under the influence of the Spice Melange. I'm ready. I'm ready to navigate through the fucking universe. Fun fact, I've seen Radiohead live twice. It's not a brag or anything. A little bit. I enjoyed it. They were great both times. One time was an outdoor festival after In Rainbows. The other one was not long after Moonshaped Pool came out. Different vibes, but also pretty great. Hey, everyone. Oh, fuck. We're not getting the vocals, are we? Do it. Sing. It's not happening. Double check something here. Uh, I mean, I do have everything on advanced. Let's throw VSync back on. You know, like everything is. I mean, maybe it's just the game itself, or I'm getting CPU bottlenecked. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Hello, yes. Can I speak to Tom York, please? If he pick I was gonna say if he picks up and starts singing Optimistic has to be here. There's still a couple, like... I don't know, pretty um, well-known-ish songs missing so far. Pyramid Atrium. We did this one. That's right, this is the Pyramid Atrium. Depending on where you go, you get different versions of Kid A. The 
the game is running quite crustily now. So we got that trio of songs. So maybe there are secret doors somewhere. My initial thought was each of these areas you go to, you get a different series of instruments. I like that it's not just the songs as they are. Like, it's definitely cool that, um, you're getting different parts of the songs. They made it work really well to the visuals. So I'm looking around here. Television, little cinema, metal vaults, empty basement, ascension elevator. Yeah, I'm looking at the map. Don't mind me. So I have to go back to the pyramid atrium. Pyramid atrium. Progress. Well, the Pyramid Atrium will take me to a couple areas I haven't been to. I guess we have to go for uh, a ride in the blue spiky tunnels again. I didn't really get into Radiohead until In Rainbows, just a little bit before that album came out. I liked Karma Police, I liked Creep, but I didn't really like them that much outside of that. I think my brain was still mush and I guess I got into them because here's the deal. I listened to like harder rock until I was a little older. And then I listened to more classic rock and then I was more appreciative of Radiohead. little dude's missing now. So this does change up the more you play it. So I definitely missed stuff down this way. door 
doors. Is this... I think it is. It is. <laughs> Maybe I missed a couple things over here. And there's the ascension again. There are other... I call them walking simulators, but... To be more respectful, we'll call them ambient exploration sound visual games. And uh, I just got a code for another one that also is very interesting. It's uh, one I've played in demo form previously. I don't remember the name of it, but I assure you it's tough to pronounce. That's how you know it's a good one. So, I have an idea of where I should go, I think. I don't think I went down here and explored properly. Okay, so, this. Does this just loop? Also, the V-Sync made it worse. <laughs> Somehow. So Pyramid Atrium will take us to the Metal Vaults and then Little Cinema. Ghost Chamber, which goes to Pixel Warehouse Echo Chamber. Don't know if this is the, uh, the right place. Oh, everything's in its right place, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, that's the pixel warehouse. Still looking for the little cinema. So, metal vaults into little cinema. That's what I want to check out. I mean, I might have just seen everything. certainly possible. We're just about. I mean, I, there's a couple names I don't recognize. Televisions again. Um, paper chamber. The metal vaults are where we were. I guess part of the uh, the fun here is the exploration, but I'm kind of just lost trying to find a scrap of the song. Optimistic, please, just a scrap. Oh, wow. Oh. Dead. Air. <laughs> okay. There's Thumb. Oh. Okay, a live version of Optimistic. Oh god, no. We don't do that camera angle. <laughs> the look on this thing's face. needs to not be there. It's not flattering at all. I guess maybe that's the point, right? Yeah, 
yeah, he does that. We we just let him do it. Tom Happy song. I don't mean Tom York, I mean the Toms on the drums. <laughs> oh, what does this sound that Tom is creating? never seen or heard this version. I think Ed O'Brien's pretty underrated at being Ed O'Brien. do the end part, are they? No. Uh, I had never seen that. That was good. They got really into that one. That's definitely a top five Radiohead song for me. Radiohead all the time. I love when people call out the singer's name. Meanwhile, they're probably going to do how to disappear completely. The irony of the crowd screaming and, like, trying to get them to play a specific song. 
going absolutely mental in the crowd and they're about to do this particular song it's just that you can cut it with a knife how to disappear completely was written after the the huge success of okay computer which basically you know became like a fucking phenomenon at the time and uh it, it you know the whole fame thing is not that easy, especially if it's just thrust upon you that quickly, I'd imagine. And, uh, that song was... I guess, um, his, his cry for help and his way to deal with it. And I really, um, I think it's, it's one of the most... Cut, bitterly and cuttingly depressing songs. But, weirdly enough, uplifting. And, um... One of the reasons I listen to music like this, for those who are totally uninitiated, and you listen to, say, pop music or only video game music, I don't fault you. To each their own, of course. But one of the reasons I, I listen to music like this is because it's a shared experience thing. It's like, right, I'm not alone, I got it. And um, I think that just in general, minor chords and sadder, darker tones in music it just has this, this beauty in it. But it can't be all dark. You gotta have some lift as well. And I think equal doses are especially good. Right? Yeah, that's about the face most of you are making right now, I'd imagine. But if you're a huge Radiohead nut, even more than I am, then, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Truthfully, I don't know. I just went on the um, the webpage. I don't think there's a ton left that I haven't seen. It appears that um, maybe there's a couple spots that I missed that I, I or not missed, but that I um, glossed over. But I'm gonna head to. Uh, the beginning for a second and listen to everything in its right place and I'll read the track listing also Knives Out great song from Amnesiac which is not present here I don't know if it would have fit the vibe of this, but it would have been cool to hear. Okay, so... Everything in its right place, Kid A, National Anthem, Packed Like Sardines, In Limbo, Tree Fingers, Idiotech, How to Disappear Completely, Pyramid Song, that was amazing. That, that combo of those three songs in a row was unbelievable, You and Who's Army. Spinning Plates, Pull, pull revolving doors and true love waits. Interesting. So true, true love waits is um, it only finally got released on Moon Shaped Pool in an album form, like a, an LP form. But yet, that was a song written around this time. So I wonder. So yeah, so that's over there somewhere. That's probably like hidden something, or you just have to wait a while. Motion picture soundtrack as the end, and then Little Cinema, which we just did. So yeah, that's about it. says browse the catalog and it's just like merch you can get a big oversized scarf that's nice kid a amnesia teapot for 140 dollars no sir fucking re 
Kid Amnesia Teapot plus two teacup and a saucer. 275 US dollars. <laughs> I'm good with the vinyl. There's a lot of merch. Well, I loved this, and uh, it was worth installing and then uninstalling EGS for, I think. I'm sticking, I'm sticking to it for at least a while longer, but I, I definitely am happy I took the plunge on this one. I say it was free. <laughs> I just downloaded a program. It gives a shit. Uh, yeah, I, I had a good time with this, and it made me love Radiohead, um, this era of Radiohead, just a little bit more. It's a little bit more. Just hearing the individual elements of the songs, the creativity of this, like, game, the visuals are beautiful, the music is great, and all the uh, little bonus stuff was, was good too, like hearing a live version of Optimistic. This one, it just links you to a different piece of merchandise. What have you? What have you? It's a QR code, but it doesn't want to hold it up for too long. Good place to start is OK Computer in Rainbows Kid A. In that order, I think. However, Kid A, if you like what you've heard, Amnesiac, if you like that, in Rainbows and OK Computer, interchangeable. If you want more of this music specifically. Otherwise, um, just check them out on your own time. Maybe you'll enjoy. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. I hope you uh, got something out of this. I did. And see you around. Minus the VOD mutes. <laughs>